It wasn't that the computers beat the humans. It was that, you know, one type of intelligence beat another. We never thought about making a move like that. There are many aspects of the world which we can't explain with words. Game two, move 37. woke people up. Most pilgrims are not deterred. This is fundamentally a religious phenomenon that derives from the archetypal collective unconscious. Pure in essence. As we often say in China, you know, I have to ask these questions. But what on earth did the public make of it in 1802? You have to be a huge pessimist not to find that profoundly good news. Ultimately, automation technology will help free humans from labor-based jobs and create new classes of jobs that we actually enjoy doing. And it was puffing and chuffing. But I think the development of full artificial intelligence could spell the end of the human race. But really what fundamentally happened is we overcame the limitations of our muscle power. artificial intelligence called deep learning that mimics the neural networks of the human brain. Holy cow, can we leverage them and amplify them now? I thought it was a mistake. Once humans develop artificial intelligence, it would take off on its own and redesign itself at an ever-increasing rate. And then it studies them, 
learns from them, and it figures out its own moves. And because it's an AI system, it's not just following instructions, it's figuring out its own instructions. And so often there's a sense of disorientation or defeat or confusion. And, you know, frankly, that's the beginning of wisdom because that's, that's what forces us to begin to uh, re-examine our lives from a different perspective. When you're dealing with a total field, you can't have a fixed point of view. You can have a whole series of points of view, but you can't have a fixed point of view. Something equally interesting is happening right now. We are overcoming the limitations of our minds. Humans who are limited by slow biological evolution could compete and would be superseded. In the age of AI, the algorithms are transporting us into a universe of vast potential and transforming almost every aspect of human endeavor and experience. What the typographical literate man calls the uh, human rights. We have never stopped interfering drastically with ourselves by every technology we could latch on to. We have uh, absolutely disrupted. Do you think this might lie all over and over again? Lead us into a kind of electric totalitarianism. Mm, I think. I could do this again. <laughs>